Thailand's seemingly endless battle for political control appears to be reaching another peak. Protesters have seized government facilities and a major thoroughfare through Bangkok. They say the government is being run by former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat, who lives in exile, avoiding jail for abusing his power. Among them, Anand Haisawan and his wife, who have been protesting for weeks. I don't want the Shinawat family to run this country anymore because they don't respect the law, but they expect the people to. These are scenes that have been repeated time and time again in Thailand by people wearing different colours. In 2010, I witnessed a long, peaceful rally descend into street battles as soldiers moved in. The so-called red shirts were trying to remove the government at the time, a government that's now in opposition. Ultimately, their protest failed. Three years ago, this is where the military operation began to try to get rid of the red shirt protesters from the streets after they had been in this area for almost a month. In the end, many people were killed here. As you can see now, it is heavily fortified because this is the back entrance to Government House. Since 2010, Thailand has been relatively quiet, but behind the scenes, there's always been an acknowledgement that there will be one, perhaps final battle for control of this country. Watching the crisis and perhaps sometimes still advising is Panitan Watanayagorn. As an acting spokesman, he became the government face during the red shirt uprising and is now a university lecturer. He believes there must be a new political system of accountability between the two major parties without Taksin and other leading figures from the old guard. These two political parties need to move on uh, from individuals' uh, personalities uh, and, and get really engaged with the people on the streets uh, in a way that uh, giving them answers. So next time they don't have to come out on the streets. Despite the masses on the streets, the battle has always been between a handful of wealthy people about who has the power. At the moment, it belongs to the party of Prime Minister Ying Lak Shinawat, Taksin's sister. So far, she's relying on the police to maintain security and hasn't called upon the army. But in Thailand, it's often difficult to tell whose side the politically active top brass in the military will be on. For now, this is a relatively peaceful situation, but history suggests that the longer it drags on, the greater the chance of confrontation. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.